Let's be real, bro. You're dressed like a 10 year old. You have not changed your style since you were in middle school. And the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, it's a reflection of your exterior. So if that's how you feel, if that's how you mentally you've matured, it is a reflection of what you're putting on the outside. This is why men have to stop dressing like their children. Because at the end of the day, dressing well, it's a form of discipline. Waking up every day to put effort in how you look, knowing that you're gonna perform better for it. You're gonna feel more confident for it. And you just have to do that a little bit of effort in the front end. It's a form of discipline. You gotta get through that hard part knowing that it's gonna carry you through the day and open the doors that you need to be opened. And this is not just me talking out my ass. Scientific studies have proven, depending on what you wear, you are more apt for certain problem solving situations. You're more apt to deal with certain situations all because of what you put on the outside. And to make it, I'm gonna make it even easier for you. Yes, there is effort involved, but you can make it a lot easier by pre-planning. Like the night before, you should know what's in your closet. Most, I have my closet memorized. You probably, you know what's in your closet. You should pre-plan in your mind, all right, I gotta go here. This is the location. These are the people I'm gonna meet. This is what I have to get done. What should I wear? And then just plan it in your outfit. I'll wear those jeans, that shirt, those shoes, boom. It's ready. When you wake up, you got a killer outfit in the morning, and all because you did a little bit of effort the night before. Number two, you get to keep it interesting for yourself and for the others around you. Let's be real. You cannot tell me this is a lie. Every time you put on that bummy tee and bummy shorts or jeans that you wear all the time, and you know they make you feel bummy because you just feel like, ugh, that day. You feel like crap. But what happens when you have a new outfit? An outfit that you actually want to wear and you throw that thing on. Bro, the confidence that you feel, unstoppable. Tell me I'm lying, right? The reason why you should put on that effort is so you feel like that every day of the week. That's what you should be aiming for. And yo, I'm actually gonna bless you, bro, because with essentials, I'm about to drop 42 new pieces that you, I don't think you heard me right, bro. This is the largest collection I have ever dropped. I think the largest that we had done before was like 20 something. 42 pieces, and it's not even just myself, bro. We have been working months with a team of designers, Camila, Trey, Nav. I'm sure you've seen these guys on Instagram. These, I mean, their style's impeccable. And together, we came together to build one of the hardest collections yet. We have our streetwear section. We have our dressy stuff that Trey really helped on. We have our women's collection. I used to, draw, I used to design the women's pieces. But with Camila, bro, the insight that she brought in, your girls, it, honestly, you shouldn't just buy for yourself. If you have a girl, buy for your girl too because your girls are gonna be looking on point, bro. The stuff that we're dropping now, I can't wait to buy one of each piece for my girl because, bro, these things, hardest hitting collection guaranteed. 43 pieces and here's the promise, it will sell out. It's gonna sell out and here's why, bro. While it's the biggest one we've ever done, we haven't done a collection this big in over a year. Last year, we only dropped one collection and that collection was only three pieces. It was the backpack, the polo, and the dress pants. That's it. This is the largest collection we have dropped in over a year. We haven't dropped a women's collection in over 14 months. This is going to fly. I do not want you to miss it, so I need you to put a reminder on your phone. April 1st, 10 a.m. Eastern, you gotta be there. And I also need you to understand something, bro. Look, th these guys have big audiences, all of them. I think they have like five million put together. Their audiences are gonna eat this up. I don't want you to miss this out because I, I want you guys to have first dips. So obviously pro members are gonna get first dips before anybody else, so like before their audiences, before even the main audience. You guys are chill. Like you guys are gonna get first dips, which is a good thing because this stuff will fly, especially the, the, those popular sizes. I don't want you to miss it, bro. Put that reminder on your phone. I'm letting you know early, bro. Almost a month and a half in advance because this will, bro, I'm telling you right now, the best we've ever done. Number three, it's also a form of respect, right? When you dress better, it's like you're showing respect to the other person. How many times have I told you, if you pull up to a date and you see the girl didn't put on makeup, his hair's in a bun, she's wearing sweats, she doesn't respect you, bro. She's not respecting your time. She's there because she was bored. She's there for the free steak you're about to buy her. Dump her, move on, let her pay for her own bill, bro. That's what you need to do for other people. When you show up to a presentation, when you show up to a meeting, when you show up to an interview, when you show up to a date, it is a form of respect showing 
the effort you put into your appearance. Number four, it's a form of practice. It's a form of practice for the real world, for the success that you want to achieve in your life. You truly can dress for success. I told you this. There have been studies that have been proven. They took a group of two men. One of them was dressed regularly. The other, they put him in suits. They realized that men that they were in suits, it's not that they were smarter, but because they had a higher self-perception of themselves, they felt like they could get things done. They were better at problem solving high IQ tasks just because mentally they believed to be more apt. That is the effect that outward clothing has on your inward. This takes me to number five. You win. When you dress better, when you put in effort, you win. Why? Because doors open for you. People are nicer to you because you dress better. You have a better perception. You also can control perceptions of other people. I've told you this, whether you like it or not, people make judgments of you. If you wear the wrong clothing, people are gonna make wrong judgments of you. And once that judgment is set in their mind, it's very hard to overcome that. But you can do the flip side as well. You cannot control the narrative. Now the world is your clay. Because if you know how to manipulate perceptions and you understand this and you dress well all the time, people are gonna have positive perceptions of you instantly and now you get whatever you want. Ultimately, it takes me to number six. Others aren't doing it. Everyone else is still dressing like a child out here. No one else is deciding to put in the effort, and you should just do it for the fact that no one else is. Because at the end of the day, what is our goal? We want to be top 10% men, top 1% men, top 20% men, and the only way to get there is to do what others don't on every aspect of your life, how you dress, the fitness, your money, your ambition, all of it.